Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Ginny and today I have got a $30 budget prepper pantry sock up from the Dollar Tree. start by asking everyone to pray for all of the victims in the southeast that are dealing with all these hurricanes with hurricane Milton, com Milton coming in it is just it's so devastating for everybody and we just hope that everybody is okay and safe and we want to just you know try to put that out there to help other people we're all doing the best we can to survive unfortunately some of us are in really awful situations so I'm going to jump into this video and we did a $30 stock up at Dollar Tree to get a few more things into the pantry, replace some of the items that we use, making sure our pantries are as full as possible. We want to make sure we've got the supplies that we need and, you know, having them on hand is going to help us in the long run. So the first thing I grabbed was one of these 16 cup, I believe, yeah, 16 cup uh, containers. I absolutely love these for the pantry. They stack up really nicely and um, you can get some bigger ones sometimes depending. This is the biggest one they had in right now, but I do usually find the 24 cup ones and I love those. These are great for spices, your baking cups, twine, anything small. We keep toothbrushes, matches, tons of things. Those things you want in the pantry and you wanna have a good supply of, but you can keep them all organized together. So keeping you know, your dental floss or toothpaste or whatever it is in a container, it helps keep the dust out and it really it helps it be more organized. They're super easy to label and they stack up great. We just love those for the pantry. I have tons of them and I always buy new ones because we can slip one more on top and they just work so perfect in the pantry. The next thing I grabbed was a couple bags of dog treats. We want to make sure we are not forgetting our pets when we are prepping, making sure we have plenty of food, dog treats, if they take any kind of medication, things like that, so they have everything they need. Because right now, they depend on us every day in an emergency. They're still going to depend on us, and we have to be there for them. Next thing I grabbed was an extra bag of beans. I just got some of these Great Northern beans. These are wonderful for ham soups, things like that. If you've got sausage, anything, you can make a quick bean and ham or bean and sausage soup. I love to throw in a handful of spinach if I've got it. You could do tons of different things and mix it up a lot. So having good items that give you protein and also can add variety to your foods is wonderful. And then I grabbed, uh, with cold season here, uh, I grabbed an extra pack of cough drops because we want to make sure we have those in the pantry. We have everything we need. Uh, I've tried a couple of cough drop recipes, but I haven't found one that we love yet. So we'll be working on that, definitely. Um, everything is so crazy at the stores. I think it's important to make as much as you can, but buy if you don't know how to make yet, definitely. The next thing I grabbed was one of these Absorbine patches. These are wonderful for pulled muscles. I love how thin they are. They are wonderful for your emergency bags, especially if you do have to go out on foot, um, trying to get home in an emergency or having to leave in an emergency. If you're carrying extra bags, a good chance you're gonna pull something. You could definitely do that. So these are wonderful to help out with any kind of muscle pain. We really like them and I love, you can just put a whole bunch of them right in those emergency bags. <clears throat> the next thing I grabbed was an instant cold compress. You just throw this right in the freezer. You got an ice pack. They're super easy. You can definitely make these with rice and lavender or flax seeds or whatever you have. But for a dollar twenty-five, this is a super good deal and it's quick. You can just toss it into the freezer and you've got it when you need it. Because in emergency situations, we want to make sure we have that stuff and that we're ready to go. I also picked up a liquid skin. We love these for those small little scrapes and cuts. Just covers it over like a band-aid, but keeps it nice and clean. I also grabbed a three pack of toothbrushes for $1.25. That's a super good deal. Oral care is a super big deal. 
during an emergency situation because you want to make sure you've got your teeth super clean and you're taking care of them. We do not want to have teeth problems if we can't get to the dentist. I also grabbed a tube of toothpaste. They have the bigger 25% more free. Um, they had one that was 60% more uh, than the regular tube, but it wasn't a brand that we liked. So um, get what you like. Definitely. They had a huge variety. And I noticed this week in our Dollar Tree that the prices are definitely climbing. I'm seeing things for $6, $7. Um, and you have to be careful because more than half the store was over $1.25. They're just slipping in racks and, you know, that shelf is more. And so it's not just one area. They're moving it all in everywhere. Even the food section had some $3 and $5 stuff. So making sure we're really paying attention to those prices because not everything there is a good deal. So we want to really watch those because we may be able to get it cheaper somewhere else. A lot of times you can, but not everything. These are cheaper than Walmart here. Only, you know, a couple of pennies, but those add up in the long run. we got to pay attention to that. I also grabbed an extra thing of mustard. We've been using a little bit extra for recipes and things like that. So I want to make sure I opened a bottle. We want to replace that bottle and keep that shelf as full as possible. <clears throat> I also grabbed a bottle of witch hazel. This is great if you're making any kind of uh, skin care, anything like that. We like witch hazel. It's a great just as it is as a toner. You can use it like that. It's a great astringent for cleaning. So we like to keep a good amount of witch hazel in the house for making our own products because again, it saves money. And then I also grabbed an extra pair of glasses. I noticed those went up to a buck fifty instead of a dollar twenty-five. Making sure we've got reading glasses, our prescription glasses, whatever it is that we need. We want to make sure we have those and have extras. I break glasses all the time. I'm ridiculous with them, so I don't like to spend a ton of money on them. And those readers work perfectly from the Dollar Tree. We also grabbed a bag of Epsom salt. I like to get the plain because I can, that way if I want to use it in the garden, I can. I can use it so many different ways. You can get them that are scented if that's what you like. So we always grab our Epsom salt. Most of the time we grab it there. Unless we find a really big bag, super cheap, then we will grab that. But I love these one pound bags are perfect for a buck 25. And I also grabbed a wound care kit. I just love these wound care kits. It's one of my favorite first aid finds at Dollar Tree. You get 16 different size pads in here. There's like four of each from two by twos to four by fours. You get 16 different little gauze pads, which is great. A couple of rolls of gauze and you also get tape. So you've got everything you need in there. I think they are such a good deal. Um, you can't get 16 gauze pads for $1.25 most places. I know at Walmart, they're almost $2 for 10 So we love to grab these and just stock up our first aid kit whenever we can find them. And I also bought a little um, essentials uh, hand wash. You want to make sure you've got plenty of soaps. If you're making soaps or buying soaps, however you're doing it, uh, making sure you have plenty, staying clean in an emergency situation is important so we don't get sick. So we want to make sure that we're able to do that. I also grabbed a couple extra body washes. One of my kids is a little sensitive and they really like this one for a body wash. So we just make sure we have a good supply about a year of our cleaning for our bodies, oral care, all of that stuff. I have never had soap go bad. I guess it could happen, but if you keep it rotated, you're not going to have an issue. And then I found this new brand. It's called Earth Clean Beauty, and I picked up the shampoo and conditioner for this. And just to try them out, it says they are sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, petholite-free, Die, die free and no animal testing so we're just going to give these a try and see how they work for $1.25 a piece not too bad it's really hard to get any kind of shampoo and conditioner 
that works well for that kind of price. The next thing I grabbed was just a couple more of the red gold petite diced tomatoes. These have green chilies in them. They're kind of like a Rotel. I really love them, and they're the 14 and a half ounce can, so it's not the little teeny Rotel can. It's a little bit more, but it's got that little zap of ch green chilies in there, and we like a little extra flavor in our food. And then the last thing I grabbed was they had some more of these organic chicken soups. These are super good. We tried one of these, so I wanted to grab a couple more for the pantry. Uh, if I see a good size amount of them, I will definitely stock up on them because having good, decent soups in your pantry is wonderful. You can open and eat in an emergency situation, and if you can heat it up, which it tastes better, we definitely would do that. But if you can't, you can just cut this open, eat it right out of the box in those crazy situations. And that is it for my $30 haul. I hope you all are doing wonderfully the best that you can in this economy. It is so crazy and staying safe because the world is nuts and on fire out there. I can't even believe it. We are seeing more and more crime in our area and we live in the middle of nowhere. So making sure that we're safe, paying attention to what's going on around us and being prepared for emergencies is so important right now. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.